Hello and welcome to Sky Meets Earth. In this episode, I'd like to go over the hows and whys of cloth diaper wipes, so stay tuned. Under strange skies If you're lost, will you just keep swimming? So cloth diaper wiping is a really neat green parenting hack that I'd like to share with you. And there's three reasons, well there's three main reasons that I really like this approach. The first one is for financial reasons. Cloth diaper wiping will save you money. The second reason is um, that it will help um, protect the environment. And the third reason is for ingredient control on your baby's bum. In order to get started with cloth diapering, all you really need is cloth. Um, seriously, you can just grab some, you know, old nap, you know, cloth napkins or whatever around the house, and you add water and wipe baby's bum. Here are a few selections that I have to give you some ideas. Uh, this ratty tatty little thing, and these are all stiff because they line dry, but as soon as you get them wet. Um, they'll be soft. So this is a, um, it's an adult washcloth that I've cut into four, you know, into fourths, and then did a zigzag stitch. You can actually see, um, maybe, um, that the zigzag stitch didn't really help hold up over many washes, but really that's okay. It cleans just as effectively, so don't count that out. Um, another, another type of wipe that I like to use is a baby washcloth. Um, you've probably gotten some of those at your baby shower if you had one, and um, you may not know t what to do with all of them. So just add them to your cloth diaper wipe bucket. And another one I've got here is, this is actually a um, made to be a diaper wipe, which is you know, a rarity for my house, but I wanted to try these out. And it is a Thirsty's Fab Wipe, and I really like these as well. There's a fourth uh, variety that I have, um, and that is a, um, it was uh, homemade from a flannel receiving blanket. So I just um, cut, it, cut those into squares, did a zigzag stitch around it, and those held up pretty well. And they're actually my favorite. Um, that's why they're all in the wash right now. But stay tuned for Thursday's video and you can get a glimpse of those. So once you have your cloth, um, you just want to think about what water source uh, works for you. And um, I've lived in a few different houses since I've had my firstborn. And we've used a bucket scenario where we had a plastic bucket near the changing station with water and I just dunk it and then kind of wring it out and voila. Um, I've lived in a scenario where the bathroom sink was close enough to the changing station that I could kind of just put it under the faucet while I was changing um, my babies. And um, this in this house, we're going to probably, um, I just moved. Um, pre-moisten them and um, for that you would uh, get these wet, wring them out, lay them out in a, in a waterproof bucket, maybe a glass or plastic and then um, you know that would actually be enough but I'll probably do my handy dandy diaper wipe solution over the surface of all of those wipes and kind of let them soak through and um, use them up before any mildew sets in. Um, I have two boys, so it usually doesn't become a problem for me. Um, on the note of the diaper wipe solution, this is a really nice addition to your uh, routine. You can put them, you know, just dab it onto some wipes after you've gotten them wet and put them on your baby's bottom. Or you can, like I said, you know, spread it out over some pre-moistened wipes and use it that way. 
I am going to have a tutorial on how to do these. It will be posted on Thursday. There are many things that you can add to your routine to make it um, more comfortable for you. Um, I like to have a diaper wipe sprayer. Actually, it's a, a diaper sprayer and it attaches to um, it attaches to my toilet so I can spray off any super chunky <laughs> sorry about this but if you're a parent you probably know what I'm talking about you know any super chunky wipes before they go into the wash um, you can have a liner that goes into a bin um, and it's made out of cloth and can be washed along with your wipes and I have one of those Okay, so now that we've talked a little bit about the how-tos of cloth diaper wipes, I'd like to go over the why-dos. I mentioned before that it's more economical, and that's true. Um, those wipes, those package of wipes that you find in the grocery store, you'll have to get over and over again. For some reason, cloth diaper wipes aren't, per er, sorry, disposable wipes aren't particularly good at what they do and um, you'll end up using about three of them for an average wipe, which adds up. Furthermore, if you forget to pick them up at the grocery store, you run out midweek, you may be adding another trip to the grocery store because you're kind of dependent upon um, that approach. With cloth diaper wipes, even if you kind of um, run out and you're like, you know, they're being washed or something like that, um, you can grab another a cloth item around the house um, in a cinch, um, like your, like your husband's sock. Um, so <laughs> I'm joking, honest. I've never done that. Um, <laughs> so it's more economical. Um, you buy it if you're using cloth wipes. Um, using those same wipes over and over and over again. So <laughs> there's that. For environmental reasons, um, cloth diaper wipes are better. Um, if you think about the process that goes into making cloth uh, disposable wipes, um, you've got, you have to produce the, the fabric and whatever that goes into that. Um, then you have to create the chemicals that are infused in the fiber and there's waste products associated with those and then you put them in a plastic container which is petroleum base and in many cases you wrap that with plastic so that way the um, wipes don't dry out and then you ship them to the nearest outlet and then um, then people ship them home with their family vehicle so there's quite a lot of waste before it even gets to your baby's bottom. But the third reason, um, which I actually had found most compelling at the time, um, was the ingredient control. When my eldest son was in his first year, he had a lot of issues with eczema and um, just diaper rashes and unexplainable rashes um, besides that. And when we switched from disposable wipes um, to d cloth diaper wipes and my diaper wipe solution, um, that really cleared up. I mean, he still gets some diaper rashes from time to time, um, but it's nowhere near the problems that we initially had. Okay. So if you think that maybe I'm a little cuckoo or my son might be a really special case and it doesn't matter, you might want to check the Environmental Working Group's cosmetic database, and I've linked that below. It's also in the blog post. Um, you can also Google it. Um, and there will be a field there where you can type in different like leading brands of disposable diaper wipes. Like, the breakdown of where the danger is and how strong the evidence is may have you reeling back a little bit. Um, it's kind of an eye-opener. So. How about you? Is this something that you've heard of before? Is it something that you practice? Let me know what your experiences has been in the comments down below.